Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open, T-H-O-T-S.com. Um, so what I want to talk to you about is um, I'm student loan debt and how I'm finding a creative way, if you would like to go to school, to get uh, past your student loan debt, be able to pay it off quicker. Now, for the most part, this is going to people who haven't, been through this situation uh, yet mainly younger kids um, this is what I would suggest because we already know student loan debt is ridiculous it is ridiculous is it's damn near un no matter what they do it's gonna be hard to pay it off so my suggestion to individuals is before you actually go after what you want because you have a long life you need to find you a trade you need to find some form of a trade a trade is more beneficial to you than just going to college if you want to go to college for certain things that's fine but you need to find a trade because trade gives you fast quick money that you can do everything for yourself it's independent money you can make trade with a company or without one and you can take that money and fund yourself inside your own schooling now trade sometimes trades uh, um, do uh, cost thirty thousand dollars but that's something that you can most likely pay off you can pay that stuff off you but when you got a hundred thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars what a hundred and fifty thousand dollars it's gonna be almost uh, unbelievable to pay off because then you're going to be chasing after all these certificates all these AABA a masters doctor degrees just to add on debt because you know you can't pay it off and you're still not going to be even able to pay it off unless you go independent a lot of this times that people are able to pay their debt off is once they realize that they drop all the certificates and go for something completely different that's how they find out ways to pay their debt off but if you're not that type of individual you might as well get into a trade do hair because this is the thing you can learn how to do hair you can do it for your children teach your children to trade and you can work for a company if you like to plus work on the side making all the money that you possibly can and all the work is based upon how much work you want to put in and how much effort you want to put in to pay off these certain debts it's easier to get into a trade than it is doing anything else I was I was told I was given this advice by a speaker man it's like my hero Umar Johnson he said it doesn't make any sense to send children to school these forty thousand dollar programs and you don't know if they really want to go there in the first place to take that program because it just be a waste of time and money he said but go on and why don't you teach them to get in a trade field where there is money and you know there's always going to be money coming in it doesn't always mean people because you got a psychology degree that people care to be given advice from you and want your advice it, it most people don't want that most people want to handle their stuff themselves uh, some people finally break through and do it but there's certain degrees in certain areas that people don't care about. Why don't you get something in culinary arts and food? Everybody loves food. If you're going to get into some form of decision, find something that is always needed. It's always needed. Don't get into stuff that you don't know, that somebody told you how much it's going to be. If you're only going to follow things for how much it's going to be, you're not going to make too much money. If you're only chasing after the money, and especially if you're going through the college system because they're only giving you numbers that are lied to you so you can sign the paperwork. But for trade, it is based upon you and your actions, and it's a better f way to deal with certain situations um, when it comes to paying off debt because you're able to make a, a, a rack. You know what I'm saying? You're able to make a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. So it's better. I'm saying it. it's better if you do want to go through that schooling system. Don't be disencouraged because everybody's telling you don't go to school. Schools for slaves. Hey, it might not be the best for everybody, but at the same time, it's good. There is some good information, but the schools that's going to be the most effective is going to be trade. Trade is going to be the most effective schools to go to. So. Find some trade schools to go to. Find something that you like to do that you can do with your hands. Something that you can do on your own time because that's going to be beneficial. You know, that's the like I said, that's the independent grind. That's independent. Music is a it's becoming a trade and a profession. So why don't you use that? Find something. Find something. If you're gonna, if you're going to get into this world, you're going. Most of it's going to be on what you do independently with yourself independently it's not gonna be what you do for a company because that doesn't help you they put a cap on you but for trade you can put whatever limitations you want on yourself and for most none at all 
you know, in certain certain fields, I know in the refrigeration, that's what I'm into and I you know, I enjoy it. You can charge individuals five hundred to five thousand. It all depends upon you and the work you give. Now I'm not saying that people are doing that if you're listening to this. I'm just saying that it's an opportunity to create whatever financial uh um uh incline on the payment that you want versus you working for a job, they got you out of cap, you can't make no more than this, but you got to work extra time, you got to work over, over, over time, and you getting paid a salary and it's stuck at one position and you're not even, they're not even looking at you to give you a raise after a year or anything. So for most individuals, for young individuals, if you don't know what you want to do with your life, the first thing you want to do is get into a trade because also trades create independent business owners. Trades actually help you to become an independent business owner. You can own that company one day. You can own that because you have that material and you know how to work it. You can buy and put employees under you. You can find different ways to make your companies the best they possibly can as independent with the trade. It is hard to do that when you don't have a doctor's degree in psychology and certain other fields that require you have the highest form because most in this society they don't really care about bachelor degrees anymore they want masters or doctorates that's it the teachers right now most of the teachers working with them are saying how they have to go back to school because they have to go get their masters now they haven't been in school in about 14 15 years they didn't see this time coming like a lot of individuals didn't but now they have to go get their masters just to make more money but that still caps them off and they're still not getting paid what they were for all the work that they are putting in dealing with other individuals children so you got to get into a trade first. And if you want to get into these other fields, you have a long life ahead of you. So why don't you get into a trade, learn the trade after five years, go to what you really actually want to do, save up the money. And guess what? Bam. Now you can financially be able to pay for these establishments. What I would I would assist is go to a trade school, get the trade under you for about three, four years, go back into school, the actual programs you actually want to get in so you can fund them or the independent grind that you have so you're actually able to make the money and then pay it off. You can pay it off. Go to a community college pay that stuff off and then work yourself going to a masters. Now you got all these accolades on top of you. Now you can move up into trade companies and being a boss, a big and being making more money, but there's no cap on you because you're creating it. So if that's what you want to do, that's a smarter decision. So don't limit yourself, man. Don't just go to these schools. Go to a trade school first. I really offer going to a trade school first, getting a trade under you. And that's what's going to help you. So I thank you for listening. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com, my Facebook, and my Twitter, um, Charles Young. It's all in the description below. Blogger, I send some information. Check out the website. There's a helpful well wealth page. Check it out. I'm going to be updating it pretty soon. But my books is coming out pretty soon. So, you know, stay positive. Think positive. Find creative ways to, to beat this society. So I thank you, and y'all have a good one.